Now, German non-profit Vestavel Foundation, in partnership with the Vonix Steve Tang Foundation, have today launched the Vestavel Startup House at Kigali with aim to, to intensify its commitment to young uh, entrepreneurs in Africa. Now, joining us for a more in-depth conversation on this is Vestavel Foundation Chairman, Michael Mrons. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Hi, Mike. Thank you very much for having me here. It's interesting that we both called Michael, so we're going to have a more interesting conversation. Thank you again. But uh, let's start off with uh, what's rather very interesting. Uh, I just saw uh, some of your background puts you at being uh, a sports and events manager. Coming into the startup world and, of course, creating Vestavel, what was the initial idea or aims with this? So Guido Westerwelle, he was the foreign minister of Germany in the time of 2009 until 2013. Mm. And when he stepped out of politics, he decided to bring him, bring into uh, development for entrepreneurship all his contact and ideas. And he always thought that Africa is a country of chances. And so that for, for him was very clear that he wants to help the people to start their own business. Because if you're looking to the German success, the German success is always the German called Mittelstand, which mm. means the mid-sized companies. And just if you develop the mid-sized companies, uh, then you can be successful in your country. Of course, Michael, we do know that uh, startups and uh, small and medium enterprises at least create up to 80% of the formal jobs that we have on the continent. But these are the same uh, companies that uh, don't uh, at least have a lifespan of two to three years because they don't necessarily have regulations that uh, are in their favor or they are uh, don't necessarily have the financing that they need to, you know, sustain the, the business. What does Vestavel Startup House that you're launching today in Kigali bring into play in this particular conversation? Well, first of all, it's a, it's a hub that people can join and can start to develop their own dreams. Mm. They will meet other people who also have the same problems to establish their own business. And by myself, I'm also an entrepreneur, so I know how it means with what kind of trouble you're getting along when you're starting your business. And of course, uh, different points are important. Law issues, marketing, pitch training, financing, and things like that. And this is what we try and we, we want to help. And we got some different workshops uh, which are going to be offered at the Vestor Startup House, powered by Evonik Foundation. Of course, we also have a maker space, uh, so you can learn also about how to deal with specific materials. So I think it's a very good opportunity and we are, we are very pleased to be here and be very pleased on the support we have uh, received from the government of, uh, of Rwanda uh, to establish the Westwell Foundation uh, Startup House here in Kigali. I think I heard you right. You said something about helping these young entrepreneurs. Tell me, when you say helping, does it necessarily mean that you are going to give them training about a particular, uh, maybe some training uh, for skills, or are you looking at uh, bringing in, flying in uh, venture capitalists to actually help with uh, seed capital and how to take on with their businesses? No, the, the main thing, of course, to help them to establish their own business on, the, on, on uh, finding the right idea, uh, supporting them on, uh, on, on marketing issues, on law issues and things like that. But on the other side, of course, we also try to bring in some, uh, some uh, venture capital money. So, for example, Green Tech, we're going to have a, uh, a conference in the next two That's days Eric here. Young. Eric Young, yeah, yeah. from Green Tech, he will give a speech here. So I think uh, this is also an important issue, uh, but I think at first it's always an idea that somebody has, and this is going to be the hub for, uh, for the people with great ideas. Of course, this is not the first uh, startup house that you've opened on the continent. We know that there is one in Tunisia. Tell me, uh, how is it running a startup house? It's great. I mean, uh, for me, it was today the first impression when I entered into the startup house to see mm. all these young people, women and men, who are trying to dream their, to, to realize their dream. It's unbelievable to see this and to support this. This is something, I mean, it really opened my heart. And uh, Guido Wetzler always said that he thinks Africa is a continent of chances. And this is what uh, he wants to uh, realize with uh, established startup house, like you've mentioned, Tunisia, or like today in Kigali. All right. We do know that, uh, of course, you are in partnership with uh, Ivonik Stiftang, of course, the industries and uh, foundation. Uh, and this is much more on uh, the mecca's space that you have at the, found at the, the startup house. Yeah. Talk to me about the economy. The, the economy. How is this, uh, in particular, going to help the Rwandan economy or that in the region grow? Of course, uh, first of all, which is important for us, 
like the startup house, also for us, we work it, we work it as a business plan, which mm. means after a period of time, it's necessary that the, cover, that the cost is going to be covered by the startup house because we think it's going to be just substantial uh, development if we really can run the startup house without getting money always putting in from, from, from our side, from the Westwater Foundation. So this is one main point. And the other, of course, is to help people with the makerspace you've just mentioned to be trained on different material, how to how to develop their own business on that. You talked to me about being an entrepreneur, and of course, I was just reading about a wiki. Of course, the store machine that you uh, co-founded in uh, Berlin, yeah. and I just wanted to understand because this is much more on the tech side, and we don't know that uh, technology is at its best. Of course, uh, this generation we're looking at uh, tech growth and the tech space growing as of a daily but tell me what are some of the challenges that uh, tech developers are meeting at this time i think it's not the challenge i think it's the the chances because mm. i mean in these days it doesn't matter where you are and mm. where you live it's just about the idea it's just about the brain it's just about the spirit it's just about the power to start something to establish something and this i think is a big potential we have with digitalization really that you can you can grow and you can be really a big uh, star in, 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 in the business world if you really try to work hard and you have a great and, and the right idea. It doesn't matter where you have been born and where you live. And that's the reason why we think it's important to have the startup house to support the people with the great ideas to develop their own dreams. Michael, I think uh, we can't leave uh, this conversation without saying that uh, Rwanda has big plans of creating jobs in uh, the country that has about 1.5 million jobs created by the end of 2024 and of course we're looking at uh, startups having a huge huge contribution to this particular conversation but in your point of view how do you think the government and also the private sector should actually work together to ensure that there is delivery on this particular i think in these days uh, really my great respect to the government of, of rwanda they did really an unbelievable job in the last few years uh, mm. if you see the gdp grow by 7.4 in average in the last few years, the investments they did in healthcare and education. I think that's very important, and especially education is the base of uh, future uh, business success. So that's why I think they did already some, some great in, in improvement in that. And helping us to establish the startup house here, it shows also that the, really the government thinks that the entrepreneurship is one of the central issues to be successful in the future for Rwanda and also for Africa. We do believe that uh, the Startup House will be a success and uh, the launch today will uh, attract more entrepreneurs and startups. Thank you very much for creating time to speak to us, Michael. Thank you, Michael. All right. Thank you. And there's definitely Michael Mrons, the chairman of Vestavel Foundation.